again everybody, Buddy Cosplay. I'm down in the cosplay lab looking like a homeless person today. That's okay. I'm just fooling around down here before I go to work. But in this video we're going to talk about elastic straps. Now this has some elastic in it to help give it some give. This is a thigh piece and uh, I wanted it to not be so tight that I couldn't move, so I added a little bit of elastic. But there's a trick to use an elastic. You don't just want to put a little hot glue and then stick it on because that's not the strongest connection you can get. So in this video we're going to talk about how to get better and stronger connections with your elastic and give you some examples. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to have stronger elastic attachments. Elastic is oftentimes just hot glued down and there's a couple things you can do to try to make it stronger. First thing is to make sure you have ample hot glue underneath. Stretch this before you allow it to stick that way more of the hot glue gets into the cracks and crevices of the material. And another thing is you can take a knife and score some, some lines in it, hit that with the heat gun, let those things edge up or open up those lines open up English today and then attach it so those lines give the hot glue a place to absorb a little better and give you a sturdier attachment uh, so those are the basic tips and tricks that people use and I'm going to show you one more and we're going to compare it okay so I've got two pieces here and I'm going to glue to both. This one I'm going to use all the tricks that I know. I'm going to score it and all those score lines give the hot glue a place to go and get a better grip. And on this one I am going cut the edges of this square. It's just my guidelines. Okay. And this is a trick I'm going to show you. I have basically just opened this up by cutting a piece off half the depth. So this is going to be my stronger test one and my original test two. Before I could do that, I have to open these lines up. That step is not necessarily 100% required, but it makes bigger gaps for this to go. So again, now that I have more area for the hot glue to grip, I'm going to apply some hot glue. And I'm second, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this as I put it on to allow more of it into the cracks. And that should give the best seal that you can get with the current tips available to you. Okay. Now I stretched it, put it on there, and now I'm going to go over the edges give it an extra little bit of seal. And then last but not least, we're going to run a bead across the bottom. Now that should be a very sturdy attachment. Again, we've got a line across the bottom that just, uh, just helps support it a little bit better. And we've got a line of glue around the edges as well. <clears throat> so compare that to this, <clears throat> excuse me, which I have not done yet. I'm assuming this one's going to be stronger. So there's no way to know until you test. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to this one. And this, all we're going to do is do a similar process. I'm not going to hit that with the hot well. Let me go ahead just to make sure I'm doing it fair. Okay, those edges have opened up. 
put some hot glue in there. Put that down there. Another little bit of hot glue. And now I'm going to replace this. Now by doing this, we're creating a new kind of bond. First of all, it's going to be cleaner. It's going to look better, even though I've got hot glue everywhere. It looks much better than that. It's going to feel better if this is on the inside of armor and it's against your skin. So it's already got some advantages. And there's only one fair way to do it, and that's to grab and start pulling. Let me move these knives out of the way. I want my hand to fly over and hit one of those. So here goes the test on well, which one is stronger, the original or the, the new idea, a new tactic, technique. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> I can tell you that's pretty darn sturdy no matter how you look at it. Okay, well, they look like they're equally strong. So, the theory that this is stronger has not been proved. But it is prettier. And it's a whole lot less messy. And also, it has the added benefit of this. When something's pulling this direction, or this direction, it won't peel. The biggest downfall of this, on this side, is if you have a piece of armor that wraps around like this, and it pulls this way, that tends to be a weaker spot. So you have to be wary of that because this will pull off this way ten times easier than it will pull off this way. So, strong straps. There's two ways to do it. One is not necessarily better than the other even though I thought this might be a little stronger but I didn't really see it to be that way. They seem to be pretty... There it went. Pulled out first. So it's not quite as strong in this direction. Of course pulling this way that might be a different story but that's as far as we could test it. But this one looks much better it's much uh, cleaner and that might be reason enough for you alone to do the same things. Of course I didn't give this inside as much care as I gave this one. There's no reason this should be any weaker than this if I did everything on the inside here. I skip going over this and around the edge. I just sandwich it together. So there you go. Two different designs. One's a little better and they're both strong. So enjoy. Psst. Hey there. You. Yeah you. Come here. Why don't you uh, click that subscribe button real quick? Please? That's all I got for you. Just come by and see me at cccosplay.com, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll always have updated information when new videos are released. And uh, connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All the information is on cccosplay.com. And last but not least, stay crafty my friends.